Hey everybody, welcome back to Lumiere Tarot. My name is Claire Summer. A big warm welcome to you if you are new here. Um, I'm doing your pick a card reading for you today and today we're looking at who is thinking about you. So we're going to see who has you on their mind. So this is a really exciting reading. Just remember to take it how it resonates because it may be the case that the person that you are, you know, that you're crushing on or that you are thinking about uh, perhaps uh, doesn't come up in this reading. So it may be somebody who uh, you're not aware of who has you on their radar um, but you haven't uh, noticed them yet. So yeah, let's just see. When I was doing the meditation for this reading, I was mainly concentrating on romantic situations, but you know, there may be messages for you uh, regarding uh, friendship or other situations as well. Just see if it resonates for you. Now, my readings are, aren't date specific, so whenever you found this reading, please know that there may be a message here for you, and it's always worth checking back into um, you know, my past uh, readings to see uh, what messages there are for you, because there may be something from six months ago which really resonates with you now. Okay. Thank you to all my amazing subscribers. Thank you for being part of this community, and a big hug to everybody Everybody who has donated through the energetic exchange. I just love you all so, so much. Right, let's take a look right now. So we've got group one, group two, group three, and group four. I will insert an overhead shot so that you can see these four groups clearly. I ask that you make your selection from your intuition. So just drop down into your body, take a few deep breaths, and just connect to that quiet inner voice that we all have when we connect to that stillness to guide you as to which of the four groups um, you know you want to go with today. Timestamps are in the description box as always. While you make your decision, I will just let you know that my book Love Academy is available on my website. It's for manifesting soulmate love. So yeah, I'll um, put a little information tab up on the screen so that uh, you know if you want to find out more about that, you can do. I've got a video up on my channel all about my book. Um, and if that resonates with you, do check that out. But yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this reading for you today and let's get started. I'll see you in a moment. Hey everybody, this is group number one. So let's take a look and see who is thinking of you. So we have Page of Swords, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, the Hermit, High Priestess, the card High Flying, the Animal Spirit card Wolf, and this beautiful card, Travel. Okay, this is really interesting what I'm seeing here. So this is definitely, um, you know, someone with quite a complex personality, which I think is um, really beautiful. We've got Pisces indicated here, Virgo and Leo energy indicated here, but also all the fire signs, so Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So I think with this card, High Flying, you're looking at somebody who is um, already very successful or somebody who is working towards being successful. I just feel like they've got really strong goals about where it is that they want to go to in their life and in their career. And also with this image of the butterfly, this indicates transformation. So it may be that they came from um, a poorer background and they're really working themselves up or you know, maybe it was just like in the past they weren't as focused. Um, or they weren't as dedicated to success, you know, they didn't have this intense focus of energy on, um, you know, where it is that they want to go, you know, maybe they were a little bit lazy or um, they lacked direction in their life and they have transformed into this person who has a lot of energy to push forward, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here which I think is really interesting. Um, with this travel card, I'm sensing that they are possibly from a different culture to you or have come from a different location. Maybe they grew up somewhere very different to where they live now, possibly in a different country. And when we combine it with all this amazing wands energy. We've got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands here, which is amazing. Um, I do sense that they're very well traveled. You know, maybe travel is something that they, um, you know, really aspire to, that they really want to do, that they're really interested in, that they are saving up money for, and, you know, they follow a lot of kind of Instagram accounts and stuff like that about adventurous travel. But they've really, um, adventurous travel is something that's really highlighted here. 
with this one's energy so i'm sensing um you know that they um have visited a lot of far-flung places or you know that's their their goal to do that um you know i sense that maybe they've lived in many different places or even many different countries or have experienced different cultures i sense that when you talk to them they have quite colorful stories about their travels um, you know, that they're very interesting to talk to, which I think is brilliant. I sense also with um, uh, this energy, you know, they've got so much energy when we've got this um, King of Queen and Wands of Wands together. They've got a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm for life. And I just sense that their enthusiasm is contagious, you know. Um, I sense that, you know, because they've got this physical energy that they might quite like. They love being outdoors. They love, um, uh, they probably like sports as well. Um, you know, maybe they're quite adventurous in the sports that they like, but they've definitely got all this energy that they need to burn off. So yeah, maybe they're into adventure sports as well, something like this. You know, maybe they like, uh, uh, you know, rock climbing or um, indoor climbing or... Um, kayaking you know just that sort of outdoor adventurous spirit i definitely sense that with this person with this uh king and queens it indicates to me that they're quite um very well balanced you know the beautiful masculine and feminine energies represented here so you know they're quite a well-rounded individual this person who um is thinking about you i think since you know this indicates to me that they are attractive which is good we want that um and you know that they're quite mature you know king and queen energies this is a mature energy here that we're looking at you know maybe that they're, they're a little bit older than you or maybe they're just you know quite wise for their years you know that they are uh you know they're able to talk about things and connect in a very mature way this definitely indicates that they're very ambitious you know they're very ambitious they really want to succeed you know perhaps they want to be a millionaire perhaps that's something that they're working towards they really enjoy the finer things in life um good quality you know they want like a uh you know a really lovely house and a lovely car and stuff like this so they've really got goals as to where it is that they're going in their career and in their financial aspects okay so they definitely work really hard they're action focused you know they get up in the morning and they're just driven um you know to do what it is that they they want to do to work towards their goals um so, you know, with this physicality that they've got, you know, maybe they just, uh, they've got like a really strong, uh, you know, they like going to the gym or, you know, jogging or something like this. They've just always got this energy for um, doing physical things, you know, and that um, looking after their physical body, you know, being fit is something which um, is, you know, part of their personality. I sense they're quite popular as well, uh, you know, the people are really drawn to them, you know, this energy indicates that they are quite magnetic, people want to be around them, and the reason they want to be around them is because they're quite high vibrational, you know, they've got a positive attitude, and you know, that is very magnetic. Um, I sense also that, you know, they're a strong, you know, they're a hustler. All this energy here, you know, they're a hustler, you know, they're very persuasive, they can persuade people, they can connect people um, to other people or services or, you know, what it is that they're looking for, they can sort of help that them out, you know, if you're just like, oh, I really need... Uh, you know, help with this, or I really need somebody to do this for me, or you know, I've, you know, they've always got they've got good connections. They always know somebody. They'll be like, yeah, yeah, I can connect you with somebody uh, who can help you out with that, uh, whatever it is that you're looking for. So yeah, I definitely sense that. So um, yeah, they've just got this beautiful positive attitude as well, which I think is really good. Very goal orientated here. Um, as well and what is interesting with this page of swords energy is this isn't just somebody who is thinking about you this is somebody who is actively spying on you on social media okay so this is someone who is definitely checking you out on your social media they may not be interacting with it they may be but they may just be taking a look at you so uh yeah they're definitely spying on you this is a little spy that we've got here in the pack so yeah now with this wolf energy, this is somebody who is very, very loyal to their family or their soul tribe. I sense that their family or soul tribe are very important to them. They make time for them. They're very loyal to them, you know. They've got a lot of time for them um, and they get a lot of um, self-esteem, you know, from being part of, you know, they're part of a pack is what I'm sensing here. I'm sensing that they've always got people around them. 
as well like they're part of like a, a crew or a gang or a group really good group of friends uh you know maybe in their work or their personal life they've always got like a group of people around them and that is because they are so magnetic to other people just because of their positive outlook really and they've got like they've got this sort of glass half full attitude to them so they're just you know they're not really complaining about stuff it's not like they've got a perfect life or an easy life you know they definitely work hard but they just tend to focus on the good things in life and the positive things in life so and don't get too bogged down with uh negativity uh you know which is nice so yeah, that's what I'm sensing here. But you know, this is so interesting because we've got this hermit energy and the high priestess indicated here. And these are like really opposing energies to this queen of wands, king of wands situation that we've got going on. It's like, you know, they're two different people. So this is what um, indicates to me that they're quite a complex character. So I'm sensing that the reason why they really want to get the juice out of life, why they've got so much enthusiasm for life is because they've been through some stuff in their past. There's some, they've had some experiences in life which have really led them to uh, understand that there is more to life than meets the eye, that there is more to life than just material things. So although they're still sort of quite goal focused, you know, they've got this, uh, you know, things that they want to achieve in this life, things that they want to do, and they do appreciate um, material things. They know that it isn't the be all and end all you know, that there's more to life than those things, that they're nice to have, that they're the icing on the cake, but they're not the most important thing in life, you know? So they've got this depth of character to them. It's not like they're all on the surface. I'm sensing that... Um, with this energy you know, of the hermit, that they're probably single at the moment. They're not in a relationship. You know, they're, they're, you know they may be dating, but there's nothing serious going on for them in their relationship life. But they are a catch. But they're waiting for the right person to come along. They're not interested in just anybody. They want the right person. Now, I'm definitely sensing that they're an old soul. You know, and like we were talking about, that they understand um, about the spiritual nature of things. So they may have a spiritual side to them that... Um, you don't know about or that they don't talk about to many people you know maybe they like reading spiritual books or they've got a meditation practice or a yoga practice or something that they do to help them to connect to spirit um also i'm sensing that maybe they've got uh they're a little bit prone so although they've got all this outgoing nature and this confidence that we were talking about um with the wands energy i'm just sensing that you know there may be times when they're prone to low moods or depression it doesn't last very long it's just because they're human i just think you know sometimes um because they are more connected to spirit and you know these this sort of aspect of life you know sometimes they do take uh you know need time on their own they need a little bit of time to reflect you know i think maybe they appreciate um you know, just having a bit of time to themselves. It may be that they're a little bit moody. It's not they're a moody person. It just, I just think some of this um, outgoingness and this enthusiasm sometimes need to be tempered with kind of drawing back into themselves. And that can um, make them feel like they're not quite themselves and causes them to draw back into themselves. But yeah, this indicates as well with this high priestess that perhaps they've got a secret that there's a secret part of them that they only let their closest, the closest people in their life know about them. So, you know, it may be that they've had a health condition in the past or that they're adopted or I don't know what it is. I don't know how it resonates, but I just sense that there is, um, they've got some sort of secret to them that not everybody knows and you wouldn't guess from this outgoing nature that they have, you know, that they've had these problems in the past or that they've, uh, you know, really had these experiences which have put them in touch with the um deeper emotions the deeper flow of life um because they keep that very close to their chest you know they it's something that they hold in for them and they only let that uh the people very very closest to them know who they have known for a long time um work-wise i sense that it's definitely indicated you know um you know, they're definitely a hustler, you know, maybe they're selling, maybe they are, um, 
you know, this indicates that maybe they're in a managerial role, that they're quite high up, um, or, you know, that's what they're headed to, that's their goal. Um, definitely creativity is indicated here, very intelligent, um, you know, you know, very innovative as well, you know, a lot of ideas um, involved with their creativity and communication is also um, indicated here as well as to, you know, what they might do for a living, you know, what they might do for a career. But they're definitely working towards higher and higher goals, okay? They want to reach the top, absolutely no doubt about it, they want to reach the top. And also they're looking for somebody who is at that level with them, which is why they won't settle for just anybody. They're looking for somebody who is as ambitious as them, who has, you know, got drive and is working towards their own goals in their life. Okay. So yeah, that is the person who is thinking about you at this time. Just let me know how it resonates down in the comments. I'm super interested to see how that resonates for you. Perhaps it's someone you know, perhaps it's somebody you are not quite aware of. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's been my honor to read your cards as always. If you feel called to and it resonates, do check out my book, Love Academy. It's all about uh, you know, raising your vibration so that you are in an energetic alignment with your soulmate and that your um, soulmate is magnetically drawn to you. So if that resonates, do check that out. Um, but yes, um, have an amazing week and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care now, bye-bye. Hey everybody, this is the reading for everybody who picked group number two. So we're going to take a look at the energies in these cards and we're going to see who is thinking about you right now. So we have the beautiful Ace of Cups, we have Two of Cups, we have Judgment, we have Five of Cups in the reverse, we have King of Cups, Fun, the Spirit Animal card Gazelle, and the card Contentment. Okay, so this is really interesting. With this Two of Cups energy, I'm definitely sensing, oh, first of all, just the, uh, we're looking at sort of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is um, uh, primarily represented here, so uh, that may resonate with you. This, uh, with the Two of Cups, you know, we're looking at somebody who is possibly a twin flame or a soulmate for you. So, you know, maybe when you're with this person, it feels very familiar to be with them. You know, you just feel like you've known them already. Um, uh, or like you've just known them for years and years or like you just get a sense like you've known them in a past life, something like that. So um, I sense that you are able to connect with them really easily on a deep level. Uh, you just got that really strong connection which feels really nice. Um, you can get on with them really well and this person is really looking for their divine counterpart which is interesting. They're really looking for their divine counterpart, somebody who is... Um, you know, a sort of match made in heaven for them, really. They're not interested in just anybody. Um, so with the soulmate connection, you know, remember we can have many soulmates throughout our lifetime. So, you know, it's just, you know, people who are, uh, you know, that we connect with on our spiritual journey uh, throughout many lifetimes who sort of weave in and out of our lives. But yes, this does indicate soulmate or twin flame connection, which I think is really beautiful. And then we have the love combined with the lovely Ace of Cups. So this indicates that this person who's thinking about you has a very big heart. You see, they've got a lot of love to give, which is why they're looking for their divine counterpart. They're looking for somebody who they can just really love. They're looking for a real connection you know they're not interested in flings they're not interested in you know maybe they've done that already in the past you know they're at a stage in their life where they're looking for a real relationship something very serious somebody to really share their life with and they're looking for their divine counterpart and it's interesting because it's not just that that they are thinking about you this person also loves you they're thinking of you in a romantic light you know, and that may even be that they love you, okay? So, but they've definitely got a lot of love to give. They've got great big hearts. Uh, you know, I sense that they love children. They love being around children. They love being around family and other people and just, um, you know, that they've not got a lot of ego on them. You know, often, you know, there's just many of us have, you know, these uh, big egos or these fragile egos that sort of get in the way of being able to connect to people. But this person that we're talking about now, they don't have a lot of ego. They know how to laugh at themselves. Um, you know, they don't mind being a little bit ridiculous sometimes. And, um, 
you know, they, they don't take themselves too seriously is what I'm hearing. They just uh, love being around other people and they love being able to connect. They're very genuine is what I'm hearing. I'm definitely seeing that here. It's interesting with these energies um, of the Five of Cups in the reverse and the judgment. I sense that they're definitely healing from some sort of emotional experience. So, you know, maybe they've had a breakup in their life and they are healing from that. Or it could be something bigger, you know, maybe they've had a death in the family, the death of somebody who was very meaningful to them. Over the past sort of year, to 18 months I'm hearing and but that process that grieving process that loss that they experienced um you know did result in some sort of spiritual awakening spiritual understanding for them so it's just like as a result of that um loss that they had they understood life in a new way it gave them a deeper insight <clears throat> excuse me into their own um, human experience and about what life is all about. This may not be something that you know about them, but you know, as a result of experiencing that loss, it changed their perception of life and what was important to life. And they made changes in, a res in their life as a result of this loss. So maybe they realized that material things weren't that important to them anymore, or they embraced minimalism, or you know, they wanted to do something for a living which was more meaningful to them and helped other people. Um, so they made some sort of change as a result of this, you know, it did give them some sort of, uh, you know, expansion in their consciousness, which changed their reality. Um, so yeah, this just indicates that they were healing, you know, they've spent some time healing from something, you know, that they've been through some sort of gritty experiences, which have changed their perspective. Okay, but that may not be something that you know about them. So this person who is thinking about you, this King of Cups energy is very beautiful. They are, it means they're a very good listener. You know, uh, we've all been with people who only want to talk about themselves. Uh, but this person is a good listener. Um, you know, and they draw people to them because they've got that sort of healing presence. Um, they're an excellent friend which I think is really lovely. You know, you're able to connect with them on a deep level. They offer deep friendship. They like um, to talk about real things. You know, they don't live on the surface. You know, they live, um, you know, they like to, you know, connect with people at that deeper level and find out what is really going on with that, uh, with people, you know? They want to get to the nub of things. They want to know the real person. And with this person, they don't wear any false masks. Again, you know, it's like this... Um, you know, it's not that like they don't have an ego because they're human, everybody does, but it isn't a burden to them. You know, their ego doesn't get in the way of them being able to connect. So I'm definitely sensing with this person, what you see is what you get. They're very genuine. This whole reading is just saying that they're very genuine. I've got no front or no mask. Um, it's indicated here, you know, uh, with this card and some of the other cards that they probably work in like a healing profession Maybe they're a doctor or a chiropractor or a psychotherapist or an alternative therapist something like this um, Is indicated you know that they're able to help other people because they've just got this um, Beautiful heart all this empathy to give you know They're able to help other people in some way. Maybe they're helping maybe they work for a charity or a not-for-profit and they're helping people less fortunate than than them or that's their long-term goal that's uh you know what they want to be doing but also it's indicated that they're very creative you know maybe that they're musical or artistic or that they're really into design something like this they've got all this creative energy maybe they play a musical instrument something like that that could be what they do for a living or it may just be what they do um, as a hobby but they definitely they've got this um, like artist's vision they see the world as an artist they're able to see the beauty in the world and the poetry in life you know it's, they may not even be aware that that's how they're connecting to the world or that other people don't see the world in the same way that they do but this is definitely how they see the world they're able to see the beauty in life the beauty in other people and how they connect um, and the beauty in the world, you know, this is the sort of person that is able to help to um, raise up humanity, really, you know, to if everybody was like this, the world would be a better place, you know, they're very content, this is really beautiful, we have this card, contempt, and they're very content with where they're at in life, so, you know, it may be that they're not particularly ambitious, but it's not because they're a loser or anything like that, it's just like where they're at right now um, with their energy is... Um, 
you know, they're just happy doing what they're doing. They're happy getting up and doing what they're doing in the day to day. You know, they're happy with their routine. They're happy with it where they're living. You know, they got a, they get a lot of um, uh, nourishment out of their friends. You know, so they're just sort of happy with where they're at in life, which I think is really beautiful. And they don't have this thing that so many of us have. You know, that is uh, encouraged in society to always be yearning for more. You know, more material things, more experiences, more friends, more people, more and more and more. Always wanting to be entertained. You know, so they just have this um, beautiful contentment to them that not everybody has. You know, which is really beautiful. I basically feel like I'm describing my husband, actually. Maybe my husband is thinking of you. I better check that out. Um, I better check that out. They like to have a lot of fun. Um this person, you know, they're quite light-hearted, you know, uh, in their experience, they really, you know, they like to have a laugh, um, you know, they like making other people laugh, um, you know, they've got a good sense of humour, I sense like, they like to send memes to people, you know, you know, when they're connecting on social media, you know, they really like uh, sending funny things through, if they've seen something on YouTube that's really funny, or a funny meme, they like sharing that with people to kind of make them laugh. Um, and they really enjoy that and they really enjoy like uh, banter when it comes to sort of making other people laugh They've got like a really good sense of humor and they're quite sharp about that uh, Which I think is really nice um, With this gazelle energy, I sense that maybe they don't have the strongest boundaries Sometimes uh, I'm just sensing because they're you know, if they're a guy, maybe they've got like that nice guy syndrome um, which can be taken, maybe they've been taken advantage of in the past. Um, so, you know, maybe this is part of their journey that they're learning to develop stronger boundaries. Um, you know, which is good, but yeah, I just sense that maybe that they have this propensity to be taken advantage of because they are a nice person and because they don't have this ego, they always see the good in people. And then, then sometimes they're not, um, quite aware of when someone is, uh, you know, perhaps doesn't have their best interests at heart. Uh, but you know, it's something they're working on. But they have such a good understanding of people, you know, of what makes people tick. Um, they get the measure of people very quickly, you know, and you know, they just, they, they just know, they have a good understanding of other people's needs and they're really sort of able to anticipate other people's needs. You know, what, you know, what it is that they need, you know, they're always on the lookout. Oh, you know, you know, if they need a coffee refill or if somebody needs a chair because there isn't enough room around the table or they're just aware of other people's needs or just, you know, that, or when somebody needs to be listened to or uh, when somebody needs space, they're just sort of aware of what's going on with other people um, to a greater extent than maybe some people are, which I think is really lovely. Um, I'm sensing that maybe they might have food allergies or some sort of allergy, something like this. Um, they really prefer meaningful interactions. So um, they're not much of a party animal. It's not that they're not sociable. They just prefer to be like their preference is for being with a smaller group of people than um, being in a great big crowd because and they prefer somewhere where they can really talk to people rather than sort of some sort of noisy venue they really like to be able to you know when they're socializing how they get nourishment is through connecting with people through being able to really talk to them about what's going on um and you know and i'm just sensing they don't like what they don't like you know that you know if it's if it's not for them um, that, you know, they're fine about saying no, that, that, that's not for me. You know, I don't like that kind of food or I don't like that kind of evening out or I don't want to travel to that kind of place or, you know, whatever it is that they don't like, they're fine to say no to it because they just, uh, you know, they st they've got to a stage in their life where they just know what it is that they like. They know what it is that gives them nourishment. They know what it is that they enjoy and they don't get, they don't waste their time being pulled into, um, experiences um or situations which aren't really their cup of tea you know that they don't really want to be involved in they just don't they just don't waste their time with it they're just very authentic is what i'm sensing yeah so yeah okay well let me know how this resonates for you um do connect with me down in the comments it's been my honor to read your cards as always i love to hear what's going on with you in your lives um if you feel called to please check out my beautiful book love academy for helping to uh uh, 
change your energetic frequency so that you can come into alignment with soulmate love. So if that resonates with you, do check that out. That's on my website, along with all my beautiful guided meditations and affirmations. Um, but yes, you're always in my thoughts. I love you all so, so much. Have an amazing week and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. You take care now. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, this is the reading for everybody who picked group number three. So I'm going to take a look at the energies in these cards and see who is thinking about you. So we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Moon in the reverse. We have the Lovers in the reverse. We have Nine of Pentacles. We have the card Heart and the card Butterfly and the card Solitude. Okay, I need to tell you first off the bat that this is, the message that I'm getting is very specific. So, you know, do bear in mind that this is a general reading for the collective. So it may not resonate, but, you know, for um, the person that I'm connecting with, uh, you know, this is a very, uh, you know, in this reading, this is a very specific message right now. So the person who is thinking about you, I sense is somebody who is in and out of your life. Okay, so um, oh, just to let you know that Pisces energy is represented here along with Gemini as well. Um, so this is somebody who is in and out of your life. It may be somebody that you have um, a relationship with who is, um, and that relationship is a bit on again, off again, or it's a bit of a situationship, okay? This is the person who's thinking about you. With this, I sense that it's like, when you're together, it's very passionate. You've got like a strong magnetic attraction with this person. Um, it feels very intense when you're with them. Uh, you know, in, that, in the moment, it feels quite good. But when you're apart from them, you feel, um, it doesn't feel very good. You feel like you don't know what's going on. Um, uh, you know, you feel very insecure. And, you know, it just isn't particularly healthy. Um, so... Again, with this Ace of Wands in the reverse, I just sense, you know, this person who's thinking about you may be um, an old lover or an ex-lover or somebody that you once dated in the past. There's definitely, with all these reversals, there's definitely a past connection here for you. I sense that this person was very charming, you know, very charismatic. You were really drawn to them. You know, you found them very attractive. Um, so it may have been someone that you were with as a hookup. Um, you know, it may just be the, uh, a past lover that you were with who it was very, you know, you felt this like strong magnetic connection with them, you know, um, but this person is really a player. You know, you may not have known that at the time or you may not have wanted to see that that was the truth of the connection, but um, this person who's thinking about you is definitely a player. You know, this is just like, it doesn't matter how much attention they get, it's never enough. And the thing with these sorts of people you need to bear in mind is that when there's this never enoughness, when someone is a player and they're always looking for more attention, it's because they can't fill up their own cup. They can't, they, they can't love themselves, essentially, for whatever reason. There's usually some sort of childhood trauma or, you know, some sort of attachment trauma in childhood. And then they go into adult life and they spend their whole lives looking for outside validation. Okay, this is someone that really likes to look for outside validation, who likes to look for... Um, you know, you know, likes to get a lot of follows and likes on social media, and then that's really important to them. And you know that that they look good, and you know that they're driving the right car, and have got the right sneakers, and um, you know the stylish stuff. You know that's you know, and how people perceive them is quite important to them. So they're always looking for this outside validation. They're always looking for somebody to go, yes, you're sexy, yes, you're attractive. Um, yes, you're good enough, yes, you're lovable, but then they don't reciprocate that. This is what I'm sensing, you see? So this is quite a specific message uh, for those in group number three, who um, the person who is thinking about you. So yeah, that may be, you know, take it how it resonates. Um, remember, if it's not your message, then just go out and find the message that does resonate with you. Spirit does want to connect with you, uh, you know, regarding this question. So, but for the person that I'm connecting with in this reading, you know, this is really specific and, you know, you need to hear this message, I think. So, you know, with this, um, 
love is in the reverse and the moon in the reverse i'm just sensing you know maybe it's somebody that you had a little bit of a relationship with or who you were dating in the past um but now you have split up or you're in a situation where you don't really know what is going on but i just know that you felt like you had a lot of potential with this person or that this person had a lot of potential you're just like on paper they looked brilliant you know they've got it all going on you know they're outgoing they've got um you know they're positive about life they're funny and charming and um fun to be with and you know really exciting to be around so you know you just felt like they had a lot of um potential there you know you, that they had long-term potential that you wanted to be with them because you just fancied them so much but I'm just sensing that the person who's thinking about you is someone that you've been with and it hasn't worked out for whatever reason maybe it didn't even really get very far um but it you know it just hasn't worked out um in your situation you may have even felt like you know the connection was so strong that um you know that it was a twin flame or a soulmate which is often indicated with the lover's card remember you know the twin flame journey is obviously uh you know can be very up and down can be a very difficult journey and with soulmates soulmates aren't always necessarily with us for a lifetime often a soulmate or necessarily even in, in our lives for um you know uh to feel good you know often they're here to teach us uh you know some sort of lesson about ourselves about um our um you know part of the human experience you know to help us to learn and grow so often a soulmate comes into our life as part of a growing uh a, an expansive process which i think is worth remembering i sense with this moon card that um you know maybe the reason that you split up or that you weren't together with them anymore or that it wasn't going to work out is that there was some secret that was revealed that came to the surface you know maybe you you did become aware that they were seeing somebody else or that they were always flirting with other people or that they um you know weren't as serious about you as they made out that they were you know maybe it was that they were even uh you know playing away or you know had something on the side or were having an affair um but this person you know this secret just came out or just really it was just revealed the truth of who they really were so you know maybe they seemed like this great outgoing positive person but um this sort of shady side of them where they can't quite commit um or where they're always looking for attention from lots of people um you know that became a realization for you but yes, uh, take this how it resonates, but this is definitely um, the person who is thinking about you as somebody from your past that you've already had a connection with. Okay, it may be that you don't want them to be thinking about you, in which case I suggest doing either a cord cutting exercise, you know, so that you can cut those cords with them and let you know let them go out of your energetic frequency you know it may be that you're still holding on to some hope or something like this that maybe they'll change um so it may be that you're still holding on to that and you need to um take you know make a break from that and that's gonna uh you know because it may be that if they're thinking about you you're thinking about them there may also be you know with this moon energy and the lovers and maybe a bit of a psychic connection some psychic cords between you which you know it's up to you it's up to you um but if this is something that you don't want, you don't want their energy interfering with your energy, then you may need to cut those cords. You know, that may be uh, something that you need to do as part of your meditation practice, if not, that's um, something that you might consider. So it's interesting. I'm sensing that this person is who is thinking about you, who we're connecting with in this reading, is single at the moment. Um, you know, it may be that they're dating and looking for all this attention like we were talking about, but they're definitely... Um, single right now it's like they're not interested in a serious relationship you know they may be interested in flings or seeing people or stuff like this but you know nobody really um gets into their heart at this time um you know i sense that they've got um quite a bit of cash they're doing quite well financially they're working towards their financial goals money is very important to them they like the finer things in life you know going out for nice meals uh you know uh quite flashy vacations things like this um it may be that they're financially independent you know that they've got their own place they live on their own they're paying their own rent they're able to sort of cover their own expenditure like this and this is what i'm sensing so but the fact is that even though they're doing this they're behaving in this way yeah 
uh, you know, where they're going out trying to get all this attention, they are lonely. They are lonely. And the reason they're lonely is because they're unable to connect with other people or with somebody on a deep level. So everything with them is a little bit surface level is what I'm sensing. Okay, and what's interesting about this person who's thinking about you is that we have this card heart. So they do have a heart. It's not that they're a bad person. They're just a little bit broken, I think. I think maybe they don't have the relationship skills. It may be that, um, you know, as a result of, you know, like we, we were talking about, about childhood trauma or abandonment, they haven't learned the skills of what it takes to have a real relationship. They can't relate to it, you know? But the fact is, they're going through a phase in their life with this butterfly energy and this heart combined, that they're going through a great transformation. And that transformation is regarding their relationships, all right? So they may not even be able to put this into words or to really understand how it is, you know, that they're feeling or that the emotions, uh, you know, what the emotions that they're feeling relate to. You know, this loneliness is triggering them to look deeper within themselves. You know, because this uh, butterfly card has the alchemical, let's see if it will focus, alchemical symbol for air, and air is the uh, element of the heart. So this is really powerful stuff. So they're going through this powerful transformation, but um, this may indicate that, uh, but that transformation can be uncomfortable for them. You know, it can cause them some suffering. You know, they may have days where they um, retreat into themselves, you know, where they need to spend time on their own, where they get a bit down um, thinking about all these things and they can't work out. They don't have the, uh, you know, the awareness I think is what I'm sensing to work out what the problem is. So the problem is that they can't connect to people because they've got old baggage. Um, um, but they can't work out that that's the reason that they're unhappy. They may be looking and thinking, well, it's other people's fault while I'm unhappy. It's other people's fault why this relationship didn't work out. But they are going through a period of transformation. I think it's going to be a slow transformation. I think it you know, might take a year. I think it's going to be very uncomfortable for them. And, and that during that process, they may act out more. Um, as a result of that, uh, you know, you know what it is that they're going through and the di this discomfort and the uncomfortable feelings as a result of this. But I don't think that they're destined to be this player forever. You know, I think there are they're learning that this isn't bringing them any nourishment, that it isn't bringing them any satisfaction in life, and that there's got to be something else. But they can't marry up that desire for something more meaningful with the ability to be able to connect, you know? So yeah, that's what I see here. You know, the person who's thinking about you, I'm sensing is definitely someone from the past um, who is uh, someone that you dated or possibly an ex-lover or an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, something like that. But definitely somebody that you already know and somebody from the past. But remember, if you don't want their energy in your life, if you don't want their energy connecting to yours, do cut those cords and, you know, do what you can. And that will help you to stop thinking about them if, you know, it's playing on your mind in a way that you, f you feel is upsetting in any way. Um, you know, and with this transformation, you can't help them with that. You know, their journey is their own. So, um, you know, I don't, it's up to you, but I wouldn't recommend waiting around for them to have this realization. This is just the energy that's available to them. You know, what they do with that energy is um, up to them at the end of the day. But yes, that is who is thinking about you. I'm sorry if that isn't what you want to hear. Um, <laughs> maybe you've got your eye on somebody else, uh, but that's uh, sometimes what happens. Uh, but yeah, they're definitely thinking about you. Uh, you know, they're reflecting on your presence in their life, the experiences that you had together. You know, maybe, you know, uh, it was quite powerful with this lover's card. You know, you did make an impression on them. Your connection did have an impact on them. Um, but, you know, maybe they just don't have the skills right now to be able to have a real relationship. They're sort of reflecting on what it all means. I think that's why they're thinking about you uh, rather than thinking about wanting to get in touch with you or something like this. But yeah, take it how it resonates. Let me know um, 
do connect with me down in the comments i love to hear what is going on with you in your lives it's been a very interesting reading quite deep um you know i know it is a general reading so it may not be for everybody but maybe there was something in here just take what resonates and leave the rest you know that is the message that spirit wants to bring you but thank you so much for spending your time with me today it's been my honor to read your cards as always i can't remember if i've already said that i'm getting myself in a muddle i think i need a cup of tea um but yes um, do check out my book, Love Academy. It's on the website. It's for helping you to uh, come into alignment with soulmate love. Um, so if that resonates with you, do check that out. People have been writing to me every day saying what amazing changes, positive changes have happened as a result of, uh, you know, the information that they've got out of that book. They found it very supportive for them. So do check that out if it resonates because it's really helping people out and I've written it from the heart. Um, so, you know, I'm loving sharing that with our community. Um, but yes, uh, you're always in my thoughts. I'm sending you lots of love and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care now. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, this is the reading for everybody who picked group number four. So I'm going to take a look at the energies in these cards and see who is thinking about you. So we have this card, Courage. We have the Animal Spirit card, Swan. We have Be You. Five of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Justice. And Ten of Cups. Okay, it's quite interesting. So um, I sense from this Ten of Cups energy that you have met this person through your family or your soul tribe. Perhaps you've met them at a social gathering, a family event, um, you know, a family celebration, something like this. So I'm sensing that this person who is thinking about you uh, knows you through that avenue. So, you know, maybe they're a friend of a cousin, a friend of one of your siblings, um, you know, just a friend of your family. So, or your soul tribe, your soul family, if that resonates with you. So I'm just sensing that you're more likely to have met them from a social uh, perspective or, you know, social event or just social circles rather than a work situation. So that's what I'm sensing here. Libra's energy is the predominant uh, zodiac sign represented here as well. So it may be sun, moon or rising. Um, with this justice card, um, this may indicate that your person works in the legal profession or a training in that area. Uh, you know, or they could have had a background in that, but be doing a career in something else now. If not, it represents that, you know, this is a person with a lot of integrity. You know, they won't just, um, you know, they've just got this solid integrity and they are... Um, you know, they just couldn't live with themselves by just, you know, just doing something for the money or just, you know, doing something which is out of alignment with their truth. So they have a lot of integrity here. And they've got a strong sense of moral justice. Okay, so this may be, uh, you know, wanting to help people of, you know, who are victims of injustice. This is something that's very, um, uh, you know, that resonates with them very deeply. Um, so I'm just sensing that maybe they're active in environmental, social or political areas. You know, they really um, want to voice their opinions about these things, uh, you know, maybe just online or, you know, through online petitions or, uh, you know, they've just got a lot to say about these things or, you know, they're sort of activists in some way seeking social justice. This is very important to them. You know, they've got like this bigger vision for the world as to how the world can be a better place, a more beautiful beautiful place, a more balanced place. And this is something that they're very vocal about. It's something that they like reading about. It's something that they like being involved in. Uh, you know, perhaps it's something that they do as part of their career. Otherwise, it's just something that they're very passionate about. You know, that's, um, you know, they like talking about it. They like discussing it. Uh, you know, it's not how they communicate through social media. They like to sort of, uh, you know, be getting involved in these social, political, environmental issues. They want to make the world a better place, okay? So yeah, this is what I'm sensing from your person. This is in uh, very interesting here with the uh, Five of Pentacles coming up next to the Knight of Pentacles. I sense that your person knows what it's like to be lonely. Perhaps they're an only child or perhaps, you know, there's just been a time in their life where they were a bit lonely, you know, where they didn't have very many people around them. You know, maybe they didn't have a lot of time for cultivating friendships because they were busy studying or traveling or, you know, they just weren't uh, in an environment where they were 
able to connect very deeply with people. I sense that this is a person who has uh, developed um, the ability to be able to rely on themselves. Um, also, I'm sensing that at this time they are overcoming some sort of financial difficulty. So it may be that they've got accrued some debt, uh, not as a result of them being, um, uh, you know, uh, like, um, you know, not responsible in any way or irresponsible in, in their finances. It's just, you know, maybe they've invested a lot in their, uh, you know, in learning about things and their career and their education, or perhaps they've bought a house and they've just got on the property ladder. So they've got this sort of debt from this or some sort of unexpected debt. Maybe they've had to um, buy, you know, some big ticket item like a car, which they weren't expecting. But what is happening is they are coming out of this. They have got a plan. They're definitely a man with a plan or a man or a woman with a plan who are working diligently towards their goal of getting out of this financial situation. So I sense that money is a little bit tight for them right now or not as comfortable as they would like it to be but they've got this long-term goal which I, they are steadily working towards to be able to um uh you know financial goals to be able to pay this debt back and uh you know work towards a more comfortable financial future okay so this isn't this is a person who's a hard worker it's a person with a plan this isn't a person who is um aimless in their direction thinking well i don't know what i want to do with my life i don't know where i'm going or just taking it day to day they've really sort of you know they might be one of these people that have got a five-year plan they may be one of these people who, you know, are really looking to the future to kind of build a solid foundation. They want to create security. They want to create a solid financial future. This is something that's very important to this person who is thinking about you now. This person may be building an empire as well. This is really my card of someone who is building an empire. So maybe that they're hustling, maybe just that, you know, that they are working diligently to be able to work up the career ladder, or it may be that they're sort of, um, um, uh, they've got more than one job. So maybe they do something in the day and then they take on, you know, extra things to do in the evening or the weekend to earn extra money to help to pay off this debt that they have accrued. So this is quite interesting, but they're definitely, um, you know, very solid, very dependable. You know, they're really, um, uh, you know, they, they take the responsibilities very seriously is what I'm seeing here. So, you know, quite mature in that attitude. Now, this person, this is really beautiful. They are um, spying on you on social media. So they are checking you out, they are having a look at you and they're checking out your pictures, seeing what it is that you're up to, seeing what it is that you're doing. You've definitely caught their eye. They're thinking about you and they are interested in what it is that you are up to. Um, so yeah, they're definitely keeping an eye on you. I'm sensing that they're checking in on you quite regularly, definitely on the daily. They wanna be finding out what you're doing. They may be interacting with you online or they may be keeping a bit more of a lower profile, but yeah, they're definitely, um, that's sort of feeding their interest in you, you know? So yeah, that's quite interesting. Um, with this card, be you. I'm sensing that your person who's thinking about you is very authentic. It doesn't occur to them to put on any sort of facade, to be something that they're not. You know, their sense of humor is what it is. They wear the clothes that they want to wear. Um, you know, they're not looking to impress anybody with, with any material things or with style or how it is that they present themselves to the world. They just sort of are what they are they just get dressed in the morning and they are what they are but this is really nice because they encourage other people to also be their authentic selves so you know when you're with them you really feel like you can be yourself you don't need to be pretend to be more exciting than you actually are you don't need to pretend to be funnier than you actually are you don't need to pretend to be more beautiful than you actually are not that you're not um, beautiful and funny and intelligent and amazing anyway but you can just like be yourself like I think when you're with this person you find them telling find yourself telling them things that perhaps you maybe wouldn't mention to other people for fear of being judged so they sort of they're very much themselves and they accept other people as they are um, and they don't sort of get threatened by other people or swayed by other people and what it is that they believe in or what it is that they do. You know, they're very much you do you. You know, so if they follow a particular diet, say they're paleo, they're happy with other people to be vegans or vice versa or whatever it is, um, they just let other people get on with their lives because they're just happy in themselves living their own life. So they're not, um, not threatened by other people or, you know, what their goals are or what other people are doing or um, other people and their money or 
anything like this they just they don't really get jealous or, or bothered about stuff like that they're pretty um pretty solid they're just into what they're into and working on their own goals not be distracted by the people and their opinions so that's quite good it is indicated here with this page of swords energy that your person um maybe a student as well so you know they may be learning at this time something they may be studying um or it could be that they're entering into a career at a lower level or perhaps that they are working in it or some sort of communication based career but definitely sort of um just at a lower level or perhaps they just um work independently they don't have anybody working for them is what i'm sensing um in this reading and also we have this beautiful card courage as well so this indicates to me that um this is very similar to the strength card in the tarot if you are familiar with that so i'm sensing that this person has had to um weather some storm some of the storms of life they've had to they've experiences uh, where they have struggled in their life perhaps they have struggled financially and they've been poorer when they were um, younger uh, you know perhaps they've come from a difficult family situation or you know it could be an illness that they face but at some point they've had to face their own fears you know and it has really um, you know they've had to grow as a result of their life experiences so it's given them given them this beautiful depth of character and it's made them uh, much more self-aware as a result of these experiences you know so there are this has resulted in them you know being quite interested in their self-development you know and in being able to self-reflect and you know be quite self-aware as to what their strengths are and what their weaknesses are so they've got a strong sense of who they are um so this person who's thinking of you um, it's not afraid to make changes, you know, so, so often in life we can recognize uh, low vibrational behaviors or, you know, unhealthy patterns, but they feel comfortable to us. And so then we become afraid to change them. You know, maybe we self-sabotage or something like this, but due to this person's experiences, they face this with courage, you know, being able to face yourself, face the darker aspects of yourself, face your darker behaviors is such a strength. It's so courageous to be able to look at your own shadow or just look at your own patterns and behaviors and just think, I need to change this rather than getting stuck in a rut, you know, just thinking, yeah, I, I need a healthier lifestyle or, um, you know, I have developed an unhealthy um, relationship with alcohol and I'm drinking every day, so I'm going to stop that. So this is the sort of person that instead of just thinking, oh yeah, this is bad, I could really do better, they're really ready. Um, you know, they recognize things when they're wrong and they make changes. So if they've got a relationship that isn't quite right, they'll make changes you know, um, or or just anything in their life. I just think there's this, um, they've just got this ability to be, to be self-aware and to course correct in the right direction towards their own growth and expansion. So yeah, they've just got this beautiful self-awareness, which I think is really nice and not everybody has. So also we have this lovely swan energy with the spirit animal of the swan this can indicate that the person who's thinking of you is very creative in some way also indicates that they uh, may be a writer or that writing is very um important to them um you know again you know with this page of swords you know this is about communication so you know maybe they're communicating through writing in some way that's part of their career or their job or it may just be a hobby and since they've got a hobby that they quite like to do on their own which you know may be writing in some way I sense that your person is um, quite sensitive, uh, you know, in a positive way. In the fact that you know they've, uh, you know, they're quite sensitive to uh, their environment and to other people and what's going on around them. Uh, you know, they're not, um, you know, unaware of, you know, this this self awareness is also reflected out to being a, uh, aware about other people and what's going on with them. So they're quite intuitive and in touch with people in that way. You know. 
this person is really um, happy in a monogamous relationship. You know, they feel more, you know, they're quite dependable and they feel happier in a monogamous relationship. So, and this is what they're looking for in their life. They're looking for, they're definitely not a player. Uh, you know, they may be looking for somebody to start a family with. They're looking for somebody to settle down uh, with. So, you know, this is where they're at and this is where they're happiest as well. They like, um, you know, I sense that their family is quite important to them, you know, and they're looking for having a happy and healthy family life and like a balanced family life and a nice family routine is what, um, you know, uh, gives them nourishment. And it's interesting in this card with the swan is that... Um, with the reflection of the swan here. So I sense like they're looking for their own reflection. They're looking for their counterpart. They're looking for, to meet somebody who is like them, who they um, really resonate with, you know, who has some of these, um, you know, the same values as them, like we were talking about earlier with the justice energy, you know, they're looking for somebody who has the same values as them, who they resonate with deeply. They're looking for their counterpart, you know, so there's this reflective, uh, this beautiful reflection here, uh, which indicates that, you know, they are looking for somebody to be in a long-term relationship with and somebody, um, who they have a lot in common with, who they resonate with. Um, you know, this isn't a case of opposites attract, you know, they are looking for somebody who uh, shares their values in their life and shares, you know, their interests and their sort of, uh, you know, they're on, they're on the same page with them. Um, they're not somebody that wants to have a lot of drama, a lot of um, rows or disagreements or that sort of passionate side of things. They prefer things to be a little bit more settled. Maybe it is that they've done that in the past and they're sort of ready to let that energy go. Um, but they're definitely looking for something more long term, something more settled. You may not be aware of this. It might not be something that you know about them. But um, in their heart, uh, this is what they are looking for here. So, yeah, just... Um, very interesting reading, very grounded person is what I'm sensing here, you know, really grounded, uh, you know, quite, um, you know, really lovely to be with, just their energy of just being authentic is, you know, uh, gives everyone around them the permission to be authentic as well. So yeah, really nice. So yeah, I hope that resonates. That is the person who is thinking of you at this time. So it may be someone who is on your radar. It may not be. Let me know. Uh, um, connect with me down in the comments. Let me know what's going on with you in your lives because I love to connect with you there and find out what is going on with you in your lives. But yes, it's been my honor to read your cards as always. If you feel called to, Please check, check out my book on my website, Love Academy. It is for helping you to become into energetic alignment with soulmate love so that you can magnetically draw your soulmate into you without having to go out into the world and, and sift through loads of people and search for them. It's about, you know, becoming that, uh, changing your point of attraction so that your uh, soulmate is effortlessly manifested into your life. So if that resonates with you, do check that out. Um, but otherwise, have an amazing week. I'm sending you lots and lots of love. And I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. You take care now. Bye-bye.